We are a full service estate auction business dealing with estates and collections. We sell all kinds of American furniture, American paintings, American folk art, American whimsical objects, anything that encompasses things made in this country considered in the American collecting field. Anything made in this country in the 19th century, the 18th century, even early 20th century was always considered Americana. Americana art can be a wonderfully carved eagle. The symbol of the eagle was used on so many different aspects. They were carved, they were cast, they were gilded, they were bronze, they were various metals. Americana can be weather vanes or a ship painting done maybe by a, a, you know, somebody on that ship that would do a painting of the ship he was on. People love the fact that things are American because it does stand for so much because this country is not that old comparative to Asia and Europe and other countries that have many, 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 many more years of objects in their country. So to have the things that we created in this country means so much to the collectors. One of the things people ask us all the time is, what should we buy now? What's going to be worth money down the road? First thing I tell people is, you never buy things because you think you're going to make money on it. You should buy what you love and what you want to live with. Sometimes the simplest object made by a schoolgirl, and it can be a, a whimsical painting or a tribute, a memorial, or whatever it may be, and it can be so simple, but yet if it just hits the emotions of the collector, that simple object can be worth far more money than something that was created by a trained artist that went through all the academies. But even today, there are still artisans, artists, furniture makers, all kinds of people that are creating things in the manner of the 18th century and 19th century. And their objects are very, very well sought after depending on what object they're making, um, they, if there's signatures on it. If you have a chair made by a certain guy in Maine that's making them today, that, that chair maker makes a Windsor chair. There are people that will buy his Windsor chair because it's handmade, done by that artist, and it's the same with so many different objects, paintings. You know, there are plenty of good painters out there today that are doing paintings in the style of the 18th century, 19th century, fabulous paintings. And their paintings bring a lot of money, a lot of money. The rarity of an object really, really will bring the price up on anything. It can be, it can be this big, but if it has the right color paint that everybody wants that you just don't find, it can bring thousands and thousands of dollars. The best thing you can do is really get out to attend auctions, meet people, go to antique shows, meet more people, talk to people, learn about items, talk to the people that are enthusiastic about what there is, what they're handling, and you know, just begin to learn about the items and learn about how they were created and what periods they're from. Again, I tell people, you never buy things because you think you're gonna make money on it. Collecting should be about personal preference when it comes to buying items for yourself. There's obviously a dollar value placed on every item you buy, whether it be $100, $10,000, or $100,000 for an item. The day comes, that you don't want to take care of the collection anymore, it's always tangible. And it can be sold and liquidated and sold and turned into money. But collecting should be about passion and it should be about what you love.